Hello, this is Doug Grant. Welcome to the Holistic Professional Success Podcast. I'll be your host, and we're going to be going through the specific things that doctors need to be able to be holistic in their practice and to be able to grow personally, to be able to help your patients heal faster, and how to sustain a great living doing what uh, you know you've been called to do. So welcome. And this first broadcast is Why Holistic and Why Me? Why Doug Grant talking to you and you? why should you be a part of and want to listen to these podcasts going forward into the future? And so I'm so excited about this because actually we're 30 years in the making. This is podcast one, and hopefully it'll be something that will benefit uh, thousands of you in helping to really find your place in treating patients and being that holistic doctor that you know in your heart you want to be or your being that you feel that you can be even more and that it'll help you in all these areas, as I've mentioned, both personally, helping your patients heal faster um, and also how to sustain a great living at doing uh, this type of work in the holistic practitioner field. So let's talk today on pod one about what a holistic a holistic health professional is and what it means to you and why me? Why would you be listening to me to help you through this process or to give you things to be able to help you get to that next level? So first of all is, is holistic. So let's really break that down. I think that most people understand holistic means the whole. And in holistic medicine, we're talking about treating the whole body, uh, not just one aspect of the body. And I like using the acronym that uh, created decades ago to make sure that I would stay holistic when I helped people or when we train doctors in making sure that they hit every aspect that's needed with the patient. And we use the acronym FITNESS. And actually, I wrote a book um, called Optimal Fitness that goes through each of these sections. But for health professionals, we're going to go about it a little bit different. And the word fitness, if you break it down, the F-I-T of fitness stands for focused intense thought. So doctors, we're talking about the mental side of it, the focused intense thought, the things that you're doing to help the patient to get past the barrier, to decide on why, you know, why they should be healthier, why they need to lose weight, why they need to, to have muscle, why they need to focus on these things that are high risk in their life, that these conditions might pop up later and they need to protect themselves from them now. Um, the mindset of staying consistent with your habits, uh, all those things, the focused intense thought, that part of your practice is really important. And we're going to be talking about bringing the experts in to help with that so you can choose which things you should do for the mental aspect of your business to help patients holistically. That's the FIT, focused intense thought. The next part of the acronym of fitness to stay holistic, to treat the whole body, is the N. And the N stands for my favorite, nutrition. And uh, nutrition is so important. We know that uh, eight out of the top 10 diseases, the reasons that we're going to die, that cause infirmity, cause a low quality of life are due to nutrition. Uh, we also now for the first, know now for the first time in history that nutrition, your eating habits, is the number one risk factor for all disease, for all disease. It actually um, took over the spot that smoking was at for decades and decades. So nutrition is so critical, and we're going to be talking about what you do in your clinic to help your patients improve their nutritional status overall, to be able to help fight disease, to actually get uh, fixed conditions, to be able to have their body have the nutrients needed to heal, um, also to reach optimal health and performance. So that's the end of, of fitness. The E of fitness stands for exercise, and uh, it's really tricky with exercise because with the general public or with our athletes, it's really the simple part, right? You go out, you teach the basics, you get them going, or with athletes, you give them the higher end uh, techniques with the plyometrics and the hit and those things to help them get to the next level. But with patients, it's a little different because depending on the condition will depend on how much exercise they can do, should they be exercising and all those factors. And so exercise is real critical. What to do with low back patients, with neck patients, should they still be moving? What should that movement look like? So exercise is important factor in uh, treating the body holistically. And we're going to be going into the things to do to be able to help your patients in that area. And then the SNS of fitness, it stands for specific supplementation. And specific supplementation comes down to research-based. What does research show we need to be recommending to patients to be able to help them 
heal faster, to be able to create homeostasis, balance in the body, to be able to help them even perform at a higher level if that's their choice, whether that performance is longevity or that performance might even be true performance. They're wanting to do a sport or they're wanting to improve in an area, whether it be maybe to do a, a, a mile run, a 5K, whatever it might be, a mutter course or whatever it might be that uh, someone might want to have a goal for. Can we help them in that area um, through specific supplementation? And uh, the answer is absolutely, but, but we want to stick with the research and not have you know the snake oil salesman just this, 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 and this type stuff. And how can we do that in a practice to build your credibility with supplementation versus how people say you're just trying to sell them something? And we're going to be going through that and how supplements can actually build your credibility, build your practice as a part of being holistic. Um, again, so the fitness acronym is going to be a huge part of the holistic um, uh, professional program and the holistic professional success podcast itself so that we'll be able to find the experts in each of those areas. So another, in order to know um, why me uh, in teaching holistic, it uh, really, we can go back to a backstory that will help you understand, uh, again, why you should be holistic or if you are holistic, why you should focus more on that balance within your clinic, and then also why um, it would be beneficial to uh, be a part of this podcast moving forward and to uh, let me help guide you through bringing in the experts and the people and looking and talking about the systems that are in place. And so to understand that, we really have to get back through the backstory. And that's actually an exciting story that I want to share with you that will hopefully inspire you and empower you to be more holistic, but also to follow this podcast and apply these principles that uh, we'll be teaching you in your own practice. So it really starts back when I had a great passion and desire for health and fitness. Um, I think a lot of it came from wanting to be a better athlete in school, but being smaller and I think, man, I've, I've got to have some advantage that um, I work on if I'm going to be able to compete against people that... Uh, seemed to me to be genetically superior or were better, uh, bigger, stronger, that type thing. And so I think having that mindset actually helped me a lot because it made me want to do things a little bit different, um, eat a little bit differently, do some different movements or exercise a little bit more different than others to try to get that advantage. And I realized really quick that um, that was a great field of learning and that that we could, that I could go into and that nutrition was a huge part of it. So that was an interest growing up. But then um, in going to school, uh, I was working actually, um, had a, a mechanic shop and I loved race cars and, and doing some racing and things like that. Uh, but it was this, that I thought that was what I was gonna do business wise for a while until I got my degrees and everything in nutrition. And, and I wanted to do something in the exercise nutrition world, but I was having to work in the meantime. And so I was going to school, getting uh, my nutrition and, and uh, exercise uh, research going on. And then I was in a warehouse working at a tire store and I fell and there was a tire on the ground and it hit the small of my back so that my head and my feet hit the ground, but I was facing uh, up toward the ceiling and it caused quite a bit of damage. But I found myself in Barrows Neurological Institute. And um, it was a really interesting experience and uh, I recovered and there was a spinal cord concussion. Um, it lasted a while, but because there was uh, a time when we didn't know exactly what it was, uh, it really was a scary time. And I'm sitting in this huge, huge hospital and there were multiple doctors that would come in. Um, the overall doctor, neurologist, different specialists, spine specialists, all these people. And never once did they get together and look at my body holistically. And, um, and maybe it was the time that was back uh, late 1989. I don't know what the situation was, but, but a doctor would come in and then talk to another doctor. And they're like, well, we want to do this because I'm the specialist in this area, you know, with nerves or with spine or with whatever it might be. And I was really confused because I was kind of left to try to figure things out. And um, I realized that I wasn't being treated holistically. And that was a big factor. And I'm like, gosh, guys, let's talk. Let's see, you know, maybe I can help with some things that I know and that. And 
what am I doing nutritionally? This food I'm getting fed really isn't, I know the best thing for me right now to heal. It wasn't raw, it wasn't fresh. And, and so it, it, it really was this turning point for me. And I had this paradigm shift in this aha moment. And I called a good friend of mine that was a holistic health professional. He was actually a chiropractor, but he was uh, practicing very holistically. He was uh, working with a different medical doctor and different groups and, and, and modalities that was treating the body um, holistically the best that he could. And so I went to this clinic and I still was paralyzed and was still trying to figure out uh, what the deal was and to heal. And over time I was able to heal and get better, but it was by applying the principles. And what I was brought to the table was the nutrition side of it and uh, the formulation side to try to create things, to be able to deliver nutrients at a faster pace to the cell level. And that's where my formulation beginnings uh, be uh, came from. <clears throat> And so um, I went through this, and luckily, right before all this happened, um, I was reading a book, and it was called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And he talked about not having to, uh, you know, really worry about being an expert in every area, but, but to assemble what's called a mastermind group. And so that's what I did, and I was able to get the help that was needed. And we're going to talk more about that in pod two, but um, I... I really understood the importance of bringing in this team. And so I did, and I was able to, for myself, get the people that was needed to help me in the area of nutrition, um, supplementation, and even exercise rehab to be able to get the degrees and to be able to have the expertise to, to rely on to be able to provide those parts to my healing. And I ended up starting working in this chiropractic rehab clinic uh, that, uh, again, would have a medical doctor, a chiropractor, a physical therapist. I worked as a trainer nutritionist and saw this need and were helping a lot of people and a lot of patients. And I eventually left there and started my own clinic called NutriStrength. It was a one-on-one -on -one training clinic that focused mainly on nutrition, exercise, and supplementation for the public. Because a lot of people were actually coming into the clinic that weren't hurt, weren't, didn't have a condition, um, that they knew of, that, but they just wanted to train. And I thought, oh my gosh, you know, these guys, some of these people are pretending they're hurt to be able to come in to be a part of the rehab clinic to get treated holistically. So I opened up this place called NutraStrength. And uh, we had great success. We trained over 40,000 one-on-one -on -one training sessions. If you came to us, um, you signed this document, we were able to go in uh, to your home with your permission and look through the cabinets, tell you what to get rid of, what to buy, what to do. They trained with trainers. No one trained on their own. It was really neat. Um, uh, business, a neutral strength business. But what I want to jump to is I eventually realized that the true love and the way to help the most people was to get back to help the doctors be holistic, to apply the things we had at neutral strength, the nutrition, the exercise, the supplementation to help. Um, and with what the doctor was already doing, whatever the specialty was. And so it became what's called optimal health systems um, that started way back in uh, 1997, so long after, you know, almost 10 years of putting and developing programs and systems, we started Optimal Health Systems, which main focus is to train doctors and help them be more holistic and provide the systems to be able to accomplish that. And that's what led us to this. And to this day, um, we've trained tens of thousands of doctors all over the world. Uh, a lot of you probably come to our seminars that we teach uh, different places throughout the nation or to take advantage of systems that we have. Some people rely on us for one area to, to be the help with nutrition. Uh, most rely on us in the area of whole food supplementation or it might be an exercise, whatever it might be. And we help be that little extra cog in the wheel to be holistic in your clinic. So that's our specialty. And that's the main thing we focus on is teaching the systems to doctors so that they can be more holistic in, in your practice. And so um, when I was at NutraStrength, there was another big aha moment to me, different than the, the Barrels Neurological Institute, and it was this. It was we were training people, and people were getting phenomenal results, results different than people that would normally just start eating right or exercising or whatever it might be, and people were getting better faster. They were um, accomplishing their goals faster, reducing body fat, gaining energy, and that, then going to other places, and we became known for this place that got results. So much so that all of a sudden, um, different celebrities would come in and we'd start training them. Some of them were local, like the local newscasters, things like that. But one of them was a professional athlete by the name of Danny Ainge that played basketball at the time. He came from the Boston Celtics to the Phoenix Suns. 
and he came in and he had a problem with his liver. And um, he had been told that he had a liver of an alcoholic, but because of his faith, he was a Mormon, he didn't drink or smoke and that. And it was because he'd take so many anti-inflammatories, NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. And um, he wasn't told that they might be bad for him. So he took him, took him, took him until he was in, in bad shape. And so he was so mad at allopathic medicine. He goes, I want an answer and I'm not gonna go that route. I wanna be able to you know, holistically help myself and go this alternative route. And so if someone referred him to me, and we helped him. We gave him some different nutrients. A lot of you know, um, we pre-digested some milk thistle and different things to help with the liver and get him under control and cleaned up his diet. And I started training him in the off season to get ready for the next basketball season through our clinic. And he had such great results and so fast and different, even though he was already at a high level, but he referred a friend of his named Dan Marley, who also played uh, professional basketball. And it went on to a man named Charles Barkley, as some of you might know of to a day that um, is important for you to understand that when you're holistic, you set yourself apart. And if you're truly holistic doctors, um, or even people that are watching this in the public, making sure that you're holistic in your approach to your health, make sure you cover each area, that things happen differently and you attract people and you attract things. And so we started attracting because we're being holistic um, in our teachings and, and our working with people we attracted these athletes and that. And then one day I got a phone call and I got this phone call from this lady, her name was Ruth, and I'll never forget it. And she said, hey, um, the owner of the Phoenix Suns, the owner of the Arizona Diamondback baseball team, the owner of, you know, the list goes on and on and on, um, wants you to, uh, wants to meet with you in his office, downtown Phoenix. And I'm like, okay. And she says, how's uh, today? I'm like, well, I've got clients all day long. Um, and she goes, okay, tomorrow at whatever time it was. And uh, I'm like, okay. And so, so I go in, I'm a little bit nervous. And with Jerry Colangelo, what happened was I sat down in this big oval office overlooking Phoenix. And he told me, he said, uh, he asked a bunch of questions, kind of talk, and I'm, I'm feeling a little bit comfortable. And then he says, hey, you're not going to get paid by these athletes anymore. And they're, none, they're not going to pay you anymore to train them, nutritionally advise them create these formulas that you're making, the vitamins and stuff for them. Um, they're not going to pay you to do that anymore. And I was devastated. And uh, then he let me kind of sweat it out for a second. And then he said, well, because I'm going to hire you. You are going to be the first nutritionist uh, ever in the NBA hired by a team by the Phoenix Suns. And uh, you're going to work for me and my organization and work with the Phoenix Mercury, the women's WNBA team, the Arizona Diamondbacks, uh, all these teams. And I was just dumbfounded. All of this from being holistic. And then that went into you know, decades of a career of working with and for uh, teams in the NBA and other leagues and, and Olympics and all that type stuff. But the point being is doctors, is you will find that you're gonna attract people to you because you're holistic, because you find a way to truly treat the whole body. And it, and it does take work, but we're gonna go through how to do that and to create that balance and with your time and your energies to be able to do that. But what it does for you to be able to help people at so much of a higher level, to be able to attract people, to become known, and to really have your influence go from, like in my case, being at the training center, NutraStrength, being able to help people myself. I had up to 12 trainers working for us. I'm thinking, man, we're, we're making a difference in the world and we're training and all that, Think, but then realizing, man, that's just a small part. Just this little group here in Arizona um, really need to help more people. And that's how come Optimal Health Systems was formed, that we're, we're able to transcend that small area and to help thousands and thousands worldwide, uh, eventually hundreds of thousands and millions. And you're in that same position. You help people within your area as a holistic health professional, but you have the ability and being holistic and really becoming known for that balance of helping people to transcend your area and to become legendary as far as helping people around the world, whether you like it or not, that you actually, or your desire to do that or not, you actually touch people and help them in larger ways. And that's really one of the neat benefits, whether it's a goal of yours or it's just going to be something that happens. So doctors, the... Holistic health professional is a person that treats the whole body, and we're going to use the acronym of fitness. Focus, intense thought for the mindset. What do you do to help your patients with the mindset? 
the N for nutrition, the E for exercise, the SS specific supplementation. We're going to go through each of those areas and how to make sure you apply them in your clinic. And why me? Because of the background. Um, I have the uh, degrees to be able to help in nutrition, um, in formulation. I have the mentor team that has helped me for over 30 years to be able to get to that. We have tens of thousands of doctors that we've worked with. Um, all the way from million dollar clinics because their goal is to become a million dollar clinic and knowing that if they were a million dollar year clinic, they were helping a lot of patients um, to doctors that just wanted to give service uh, compassionately and know that the money would come from being of service, kind of the opposite approach. Um, and we work with Operation Smile, work with church groups and things like that that, you, that teach you how to do that so that you can um, give of your time if you'd like and see just the benefits that come back from you from the golden rule type award and also on performance for helping people with performance in those types of areas so whether you want it to be it's about business and you want to be a million dollar clinic and the fact is you're helping do good for people and help people heal that's awesome if it's to give full service to the patients and the money just comes in that's awesome um, whether it's to help people with performance whatever it might be you can follow the principles taught um, in this podcast to be able to the health professional the holistic professional success podcast to be able to help people um, no matter what the angle is no matter what your why is because if you treat holistically you'll get the benefit from it financially you get the benefit from it for the patient uh, healing faster than they normally would and the benefit from the becoming known and that energy resonating out in the world and coming back to you in ways that just will blow your mind i mean I went from a small town kid to being the first nutritionist ever in the NBA because of a, a mindset, because of, of a decision to be holistic and to be positive and to put that energy out there to do whatever it took to become the best I could and to give 100% to every person I worked with. And it seemed like overnight, even though it was years, that boom, all of a sudden those things started happening. So doctors, I want to, to end the podcast one with showing you what we're going to be taking as we move forward and uh, we're going to be taking you through the stairway to health and the stairway to health basically is the approach that you take in order to reach the highest level of a holistic professional and that is where you become legendary you become known as a person an expert in the area of holistic health and you can do that and some of you already are um, and you're just looking for tidbits to make it better but for those of you that aren't you can do that and as you go through the different pods you'll see that the process goes a step at a time, the stairway to health. First of all, we've talked about, we're going to be talking about the programs in place to get started, the success kit, the, the, the guidelines. And then we're going to be talking about uh, every patient every day, what you do with every patient, and what you're going to do with conditions, how you treat the patient holistically and the tools you use, the ongoing education, what do you do on a, on a daily, weekly, yearly business, to keep yourself educated, to be on the cutting edge and the seminars and that that are available out there. And eventually to where you're teaching the seminars and the programs and being able to help your patients holistically at a level to where you attract um, uh, recognition or you attract high level patients and people that, that come flying into you from all over the world just to be able to get your services. And we're going to be using um, doctors and bringing special guests on at times in this podcast. Dr. Brimhall has had patients fly in from all over the world uh, to, to work with him and his holistic practice. Dr. Um, Mark Harris, PhD three times over to where people, he, he's got a four month waiting list of people that come in from all over the world uh, so that uh, he can treat them holistically. Um, a lot of different, uh, Dr., Dr. Adams and Dr. Uh, Schofield, different people from all over the nation uh, that we'll be working with and bringing on and experts in nutrition and research and science and that. So we're so excited about um, this podcast. It's a long time in the making. Um, the Holistic Professional Success podcast is something to help you be able to be holistic and have success no matter what your goals are so that you'll be able to help, help patients heal faster and help your clinic grow uh, itself in a way that you never dreamed possible. So welcome Look forward to having you be with us, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.